Welcome back to more World of Final Fantasy, everyone. So last time we basically got out of the woods, or at least maybe kind of, I don't know what the hell, but let's see. Is, is that a town over there at the end of the bridge? A town? Yeah, yes. Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. Ooh, I guess you're recovering your memory or something. to get on? Absolutely! All the aboard! Oh, dude! Oh. oh, hey sis, let's park it here. Sure. It's been since we've had new passengers. Huh? 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 Right, tickets, please. Ah! Oh! A mirage? What? It talks? Oh, I indeedly needly am a mirage. But I'm also the train conductor, so tickets, please. The conductor? Tama can talk, then why not? But the train tickets that we need are right the here. Right the hell? Wow! Semi-lifetime passes, eh? Haven't feasted my eyes on one of these in a swell spell. Right then. Pleasant journey. Where did those tickets come from? In a crow made sure, I was provided with everything we could ever the need. Yep, yep. Uh, okay then. So why a semi-lifetime pass, and not a lifetime one? This place rules! Yeah, it's like something right out of a fantasy. Hey, Tama, why don't you hit your ride? Roger the Dodger! Pardon. Huh? If I may ask, would you be kind enough to tell me what country you hail from? Oh, us? We're, uh... Ah! <laughs> Mirage is from the Bahamutian army! <laughs> <laughs> Bahamu? What? A Bahamu? Well, the Bahamutian Federation has a whole army of mirages in their employ. Huh? Someone's made a whole army out of them? Sounds just fine by me. Line them up nice and neat for us, so we can round them up. Huh? Hey, wait up! Uh, Lawn! All right, you Bahamoos. What's your beef, huh? You wanna make it sound like they're made of beef. <sighs> yeah, Lon, don't you know what's at stake? <laughs> Freaking buzz. Also, oh my god, the memories, people. Even before I showed Cornelia on the screen, I recognized the music. I was like, oh my god, it's Final Fantasy I Town music. Holy shit. And yeah, instead of Cornelia, I was like, I was right. The damn memories, man, is referencing Final Fantasy games. I love this. Okay, so... Um, I don't know how much health these guys are going to have, but let's see here. Let's try to do a Libra. 
Okay, that's a goblin guard. So there's a difference. The thing is, do I have to, like, Libra all of them? I don't know. Okay, what the hell is this? Inflict magical fire damage. Let's, let's Libra the goblin. 159 HP, size medium. Question mark to create a pris prison tomb that it requires a goblin prison, which I don't have, so which, that means I can't actually imprison it. Yeah, I'm beginning to see because, like, you need the proper prison to actually try to imprison it. If you try to imprison, it's not going to work, right? I guess I'll still test it out in this battle just to be sure, you know? But I'm pretty sure I can. Okay, so luckily, their damage is not too high. Well, I mean, maybe, maybe that guy. Actually, no, it's not. I was going to say, the Goblin Guard might be a little bit stronger, but he does not seem like it. Okay, so we're going to just go ahead and attack. Just try to kill the Goblins first, you know, because that guy's down. Let's go ahead and kill the other Goblin then. So, Rain is much weaker then. She's doing a lot less damage. Whoa! Double hits, combo? Okay. 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 Yeah, got to balance out that HP, you know. Okay, go ahead and, um... Hmm, should I... what the heck? Nah, just go to the tag, that's fine. Also, one thing I haven't noticed, like, I really haven't paid attention to see how much, um... Like, how quickly the uh, AP recovers. Because, like, Libra consumes one, so I'm down to seven, but now I was back to eight. 213. Okay, see, in this game, it, like, there's no, like, logbook or anything, right? So I don't have to be doing this to every single enemy. Unless I, of course, want to capture them. Uh, just go ahead and attack. Okay, slash. That's fine. Um, attack again. Wait, imprison automatically? What the hell? Imprisoning failed. What the hell just happened? Whoa! What the? What just happened? Why wasn't I able to imprison that mirage? Didn't you see the light the surrounding it? That means it's the beholden to another keeper. The what? B.O.? A smell? Uh, no! What I mean is, the mirage already has another the master. So until you give their boss the old heave the hoe, you won't be able to claim it for yourself. Unprisonable mirages. Some mirages already belong to another master. If you look carefully, you can see the chains holding their souls captive. Oh. Unfortunately, these mirages cannot be imprisoned no matter how hard you try. Defeating a mirage's master will break its chains, allowing you to imprison it. The problem, of course, is finding the master. Or whoever wrote that little hook in. Lawn, Ixnay on the fourth wall stuff. Giants. Oh, whoops. Are they Bahamutian soldiers? But they drove the mirages off for us. It's just like the prophecy, word for word. But which one? Well, we know how it ends. Please, may I speak with you? Huh? Uh, sure. The two of you. You've traveled here from another world. Oh, well, I wouldn't... I mean... Actually, I think you're pretty much spot on. And we're Mirage Keepers, too. Lon, don't tell her! Why not? Face it, we're too awesome to try and hide it. I'm, like, exuding all over. Mon, you don't even know what exude means. There is someone who would like to have a word with you. Could you possibly... Stop by Castle Cornelia. So let's find this Casa Cornelius place. Damn, it's just like Final Doesn't Fantasy Casa 1. Up? It's gotta be higher up. Well, you forgot the direction, correct? Even if the rest of that was completely hmm. off the base. No, seriously, it's just like Final Fantasy 1, people. What the hell? Um, She's inviting us to the castle. That's, that is so cool. Because, okay, I'm not sure how many of you have played Final Fantasy 1. I'm assuming not a lot, because it, it's, like, not a very appealing game to people in terms of story. It's very basic. I mean, I played it. I let's play it, too. You know, you can find it on my channel. But, uh, it's basically about a prophecy. And then you're told to go to Castle Cornelia, right, right from the beginning. Well, as I live and breathe, I've been around. Okay, whatever. 
Hey look, here's, the, here's you again, so I guess the castle's this. What's up, guys? Nice armor. Leave them alone, please. Thank you for coming. Welcome to the Kingdom of Cornelia. I am Princess Sarah. Wait, you're like a princess? We had no idea. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry Lon acted like such a royal idiot. I'm not royal. Oh, and I'm his older sister, Rain. It's an honor. Please forgive the ruse. At first I suspected that you might be agents sent here by Bahamut. I was wrong. You stood up bravely against their mirages, and kept our town safe. All of Cornelia thanks you. Oh, I wouldn't say we were that brave. Really. <sighs> Stop, you're so modest. Still, the fact of the matter is, we didn't do anything all that outstanding. Yeah, we're more the in-standing types. Huh? I'm pretty sure that in-standing isn't an actual the word. <laughs> Forgive me. It's just so hard to believe that you two are the stuff of prophecies. Prophecies? Oh, that's right. I think I heard the townsfolk going on about some kind of prophecy too. Oh, I am sorry. If you will permit me, I will explain it from the beginning. You see, Cornelia is an unfederated state midway up Grimoire. Unfederated? Yes. Let me explain that as well. The majority of Grimoire's countries and municipalities have annexed themselves to the Bahamutian Federation under the rule of Brandalus, the Herald King. Cornelia, however, has continued to maintain its sovereignty. The Federation has made attempts to erode this stance countless times. But we have held our ground, and now Bahamut has taken to armed provocation. You mean like... That mirage attack before? Yes. So where does this... prophecy factor in? The Azure prophecy speaks of a divergence. When time begins its march anew, they shall return as visitors. Giants from the hills of a world not our own. Upon Grimoire, they will wreak two divergent futures. One that brings salvation, and the other ruin. An enigma to confound even the highest mind. The giants may... reek to futures? Reek, huh? Oh, man! Tama, this prophecy's about you! What? Well, what are you even talking about? There's nothing the relevant to what I smell! You think that dummy! Well, at least I'm dumber than you! I'm sorry, your highness. I'm afraid there's just no hope for them. Oh. So, the giants from the hills, as in Ninewood Hills, I guess it's one of those believe-what-you-want-to things, but yeah, so far, it does seem to match up. Um, do you mind if I ask you a slightly awkward question? If this federation is really so terrible, why have so many countries agreed to become members? Most of the mirages in Grimoire, not all, but certainly most of them, are now firmly under the Federation's control. With such a powerful army behind them, citizens can go about their lives without fearing the mirages that still roam free. Dude, they control that many mirages? Seriously? Y yes Uh, dude. Whoa. King Brandalus's herald lieutenants, known as Seguardus and Pelinor, command all of Grimoire's mirages with the same authority as the famous Queen of the Keepers of ages past. So there was a Queen of the Keepers? Sounds like she was pretty powerful. Yes, but that was more than a century ago. So, sorry for the string of dumb questions, but if the Federation can guarantee that kind of absolute protection, wouldn't it be worthwhile to take them up on their offer? It may seem wise, but you see, membership in the Federation involves following their laws and adoption of a heinous creed. It chills me, right to the marrow of my bones. That bad? Yes. I beg you, 
See for yourselves. Once you've done so, well, you will understand. All right, then. Now then, may I ask what the two of you intend to do next? Well, whatever's going on out there, the only thing we can do right now is just keep rounding up more mirages, am I right? Oh? Apparently, at one time we commanded a whole legion of them. But somehow, we lost them along with our memories. So, we're hoping by getting the mirages back, we might stumble on some clues about our past. That's right. So if mirages like those goblins are bugging you, we can lay down the smack. Lay down the what? Uh, I think what he's trying to say is we'll help you out, or at least in the best way we know how. Oh, wonderful. You have my thanks. Mine and all Cornelia's. Still, if we're going to be any help, don't you think we need to beef up our arsenal first? Because we can't put up much of a fight without some strong mirages. Good point. Princess, do you know of any nearby places where strong mirages live? Certainly. If you travel to the northeast of Cornelia, you'll find the Nether Nebula, a network of caverns inhabited by many wild mirages. Ooh, nice. Well, Not at all. Savage mirages oh? have been sighted in the nebula. You may well end up dead. Th that's cool. If you insist upon going, then please take the utmost caution. He will, your highness. Otherwise, he's gonna be extremely sorry! Wait a minute, why just me? What did I do? Oh my god, okay, let's go ahead and save progress. Now, one thing I have noticed about this game is the lack of save points. They give you the option to save after a number of cutscenes, but as far as like save points out there in the middle of nowhere, there's, there was one back in the hills in the beginning, but I haven't seen any more, so hopefully... This doesn't affect our let's play in a bad way, you know, like awkward ending points. Because sometimes I just gotta save and stop playing, you know? It looks like we'll need to wind our way down to reach the exit. Seems that way. What a funny way to build a town. Oh, it's not that this strange to the people of Grimoire. Hey, while we're here, why don't we ask around town and to see what we can find out? That's a great idea. Let's talk. Let's talk to you. Okay. For this dialogue, I'm just gonna try to skip it as fast. Like, I'll read ahead on it and not wait for everybody to, you know, just to be talking. Hey, look, there's a mage there. If we cooperated with other also, who was that? Okay. I wonder if there aren't any powerful countries or organizations out there that we could ask for help. Huh. Yeah, there was a white mage and a black mage. Also, there's a huge question mark there on that guy. I see it. Yeah, there was a white mage and a black mage in the train. So the giants from the hills weren't just a legend after all. Whoa, sir. Uh, who cares about prophecy? Okay, let me go ahead and talk to you first. <laughs> I knew it! So, giant, if I became a giant, could I make myself bigger? Hmm, well, let's see. Can I go this way? No. Okay, so I'm, looking, I'm just gonna talk to this guy. Uh, what am I gonna do? Oh, say, you wouldn't happen to be the giants from the hills by any chance, would you? You see, there's a situation I'm dealing with where I could really use your assistance, since you must know Mirage so well. Could I trouble you to please bring me an Earth Hammer? If you could, I would be forever in your debt. Uh, sure, I guess. Let's try it. Mini Venture. Oh, that's that's a cute word right there. Oh my god. This game is so cute in general. I love it. It's adorable. Okay, um, I guess, um, let's take a look at the map. What the hell? That's the whole town. Oh, there's a save point down there. Yes, finally. Like an actual save point you can use anytime you want. You know, like not a cutscene save point. There's a difference. Many people who stand opposed to the Federation have abandoned their hometowns and fled here. Also, is it necessary to talk to everybody? I mean, hopefully not. <sighs> you know what? I can't wrap my head around. Because that's going to take a long time. What's this thing? Oh! I was hoping the path might link the up here! Hey, Tama! W wait up! Huh? Hmm? We're back in Ninewood Hills? You see, the gate here doesn't connect to just one the area. Out throughout Grimoire, you'll find places. Save the locations that lead back here. Oh, 
open the way to come and to go as you please. And how exactly do we do that? You already the saw. Just walk up to the right place, and that's all it takes. But surely a means of transportation that handy must come with a catch? No, the catch! You can use the gate as the little or much as you like. What's more, time in here and time in Grimoire, they don't both the flow at the same speed. So whatever crisis is going to down, you can put it on hold and kick back here till you're ready. Wow, it's like magic! Yeah, really irresponsible magic. Just imagine revisiting any place we've been. We'll call it the Super Porta Party. Are you the kidding? That name definitely gets an F. He deserves an H. An H? A grade's only go down to F. Extra, extra, read all about it. What, what do you the one here, Serapy? In case you're wondering, you can use the prism case anywhere you find one of these gates. Oh, I think I would get it now. Gates are the what you meant when you talked about a strong connection. Huh? Oh, right, right. That's the gist of it. The gates, okay. Throughout Grimoire, you will find shining gates, like the one you see here. Approaching a gate will connect you to the main gate in Ninewood Hills. Once it's linked up, you can use the gate to travel between... Sorry, to travel anywhere you've already been. Cool! Hexagates were special one-way doors for leaving dungeons that are not accessible from the main gate in Ninewood Hills. I guess there's a difference between the shining gates, the normal gates, whatever. I, I see, okay. And then the exit gates, which are unique to dungeons. Interesting, okay. The Adventure Log. As you progress throughout the story, a chronicle of your travels is recorded in the game's menu, Adventure Log, okay? If you haven't dropped by Greymore in a while, this is a great way to catch up. Select many ventures to have a peek at quests and errands you've undertaken. Naturally, you can stop by to check your progress, but you can also collect quest rewards here too. Okay, to the nether nebula. Alright, so let me see. If I access this thing... Cool. Access prism case. Let's take a look at this. Alright, so that's the same thing. Alright, so apparently... Um, this is weird. Let's see, if I select this guy, what happens? What? See, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing with this yet. This is the one thing that doesn't make sense to me too much yet, the whole thing with Seraphine. Okay, um... And then what else I can do? I can travel, and I don't want to do that yet. Okay. Uh, let's go back. Hey, look. Chocobo. And then... I want to talk to you. <laughs> Chocobo feathers! You scared me! Um, you see, the Bahamutian soldiers are all giants like you. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's just go down. There's got to be a safe one here somewhere. Yes, there is right there. Hey, look, more Chocobos. Safe crystals. Safe crystals form... Naturally in dangerous places throughout Grimoire in addition to restoring your HP. Yes. Yes. It's like Final Fantasy 10. I love this You know like before Final Fantasy 10. Oh My god, man save points would not heal you. You would have to freaking use a tent or a cottage, you know? Oh, thank god that makes the game easier a lot easier They allow you to save your progress and access to prism case cool So you can access the prism case in save points and in the gates, okay Safe crystals are places of peace and safety when you see one, remember to save your progress because you never know what dangers lie around in the next corner, especially if you're playing a blind run like me. Yeah, it's, it's best to do this. Okay, let's examine it. See, I can access the same thing. Cool. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, save once again because we just went through a lot. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here because now we're at, what, 25-ish minutes? Yeah, great place to end the video. Great place. People, I am loving this game. I love this safe, like, safe crystal thing, you know? I love it. Wait, safe crystal? Is that what it's called? Or was it a safe one? I don't know, but... Yeah, I love this thing. How you, you know, you get a full heal on HP and AP. Cool. Also, there's no MP in this game. It's it's AP for MP, but also other things, too. Interesting. But yeah, I love the references so far. Man, it referenced Final Fantasy 1 already, and we're going to see some more references later. Alright, so, if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to leave a like. I'd appreciate that very much. Thank you, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.